Friday, February 5th. Uh, we are on lesson 36 of A Course in Miracles. And let's see what lesson is for today. Okay. Lesson number 36, my holiness envelops everything I see. Today's idea extends the idea for yesterday from the perceiver to the perceived. You are holy because your mind is part of God's. And because you are holy, your sight must be holy as well. Sinless means without sin. You cannot be without sin a little. You are sinless or you're not. If your mind is part of God's, you must be sinless or a part of his mind would be sinful. Your sight is related to his holiness, not to your ego, and therefore not to your body. Four three to five minute practice periods are required today. This takes it up a notch. Try to distribute them fairly evenly and make the shorter applications frequently to protect your protection throughout the day. The longer practice period should take this form. First, close your eyes and repeat the idea for today several times slowly. Then open your eyes and look quite slowly about, applying the idea specifically to whatever you note in your casual survey. Say for example, my holiness envelops that rug. My holiness envelops that wall. My holiness envelops these fingers. My holiness envelops that chair. My holiness envelops that body. My holiness envelops this pen several times during these practice periods. Close your eyes and repeat the idea to yourself. Then open your eyes and continue as before. For the shorter practice periods, close your eyes and repeat the idea. Look about you as you repeat it again and conclude with one more repetition with your eyes closed. All applications should of course be made quite slowly and effortlessly and as unhurriedly as possible. My holiness envelops everything I see. Let's see what Magdalene has to say. Greetings, beloveds. Your holiness does indeed body and envelop and encompass everything that you see for it is through your mind that you create your realities. It is through your projection onto the blank canvas of existence. Therefore, everything that you see, every object that you have identified as being separate from you is indeed a projection of your own holiness. Therefore, your holiness encapsulates and envelops everything that you see. There is nothing that you see, there is no one that you see that is not holy, for you yourself are holy as well. When you allow yourself to see life from this perspective, you have indeed become an embodiment of the holy being that God created you to be. Your holiness is the truth of you. It is the destiny that you were born to reveal. It is the light in which you live. It is the love in which you relate to all that exists. One moment, please. Your holiness is truly a gift from the creator. It is the mind in which you think, and yet 
there are moments when you have forgotten that you indeed are a holy being and therefore all that you survey and all that you experience has holiness to it as well. As you allow yourself to come to these four portions of your day where you extend yourself to these lessons, you will come to see, beloveds, that holiness is in every object, every being. It is easy to see that that may be so in nature, but can you allow yourself to see that in one who has caused you pain? Can you allow yourself to see the holiness within yourself? Can you look upon yourself and say, I love what it is that I see, for I have created this. And there is holiness here. There is holiness weaved in and through all of creation. For all of creation is indeed holy itself. As you allow yourself to feel the truth of you, you can extend that truth to all beings. You can allow yourself to pause and to wonder, have I looked upon this with less than loving eyes? Have I looked upon this with less than a tender loving heart? Have I allowed myself to see this in a way that has been less than gracious and less than kind? Have I interacted with another in such a way that I have treated them as being anything less than perfection and divinity? And as you begin to see that all objects, including the objectification that you have made of your own bodies, live within the realms of divinity, live within the light of love, you will indeed begin to see that you yourself are an envelopment, an envelopment of holiness itself. The more you allow yourself, beloveds, to come to the place of knowing, of, of allowing yourself to remember the truth of you, life begins to have a flow to it there is the resistance that you have projected and portrayed from your egoic mind that said, no, this is not the way that this should be. This is not holy. This is damaged. This is broken. That is not the truth, beloveds. That is merely a judgment that you have cast upon objects, cast upon beings, cast upon yourself. And it is not the truth of you. For the truth of you is a divinity and a preciousness and a loveliness that is exquisite. The truth of you is that indeed every thought that you think is thought with the mind of God. Can you allow yourselves, beloved, to remember? Can you allow yourselves to take the journey back to the truth? back to the kingdom and allow all to be truly as it is, which is perfection itself. Holiness means an inclusion of all. Nothing is left out. Nothing is separate. All is whole, perfect, and complete as it is. Will you allow yourselves, beloveds, to remember? Understand that the purpose of the ego was protection of something that did not need protection in the first place. It is the very aspect of beingness that allows you to forget your own divinity. And yet the ego says, do not remember. Stay hidden here with us. Can you allow yourselves, beloved, to remember? To remember the truth of you? To remember the light that you are, the beauty that you are. Can you allow yourself a moment of happiness as you remember the truth of you? Can you look upon all things and see that they are indeed enveloped in holiness? 
that you yourself are a manifestation of holiness. Look around at all that you see and extend your heart to it. Bless the chair that you sit upon. Bless the food that is provided for you as nourishment. Bless the ground that you walk upon. Bless your body. Bless your friends and your family and your loved ones. And bless those whom you have considered to be outside of you. Those whom you have considered to be unworthy of you, those whom you have considered to be separate from you, separate than you, beloveds, can you find it within your heart to see them as holy, to embrace them with love? As you do this, beloveds, you are indeed once again granted access to the kingdom. For the pathway home is paved with love. And as you alight each foot upon the earth and you walk with love and you speak with love and you touch with love and you think with love, you are directed once again, beloveds, back to life, back to truth. So allow yourself in your practice today to envelop all with holiness. And as you do this, there is a mirrored reflection that is you embraced in holiness as well. We love you and the holiness that you are, beloveds. We thank you for this journey that you are embarking upon, for you are indeed lighting the pathway, for as you place each foot you leave a mark of light and holiness along your path, and then others may follow. There is no thought that you think, there is no action that you take that is not felt and seen and heard by all. Bring love to all you do, beloveds. Bring your holiness to all that you are. And know that you have our love and our support and our guidance with you always. Our blessings to you, beloved ones. Our blessings to you, holy ones. And we will speak with you again. Greetings. <sighs> I wish you all a beautiful day. I love you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. I think you're beautiful. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>